Most people find that when they first come across an off-width, they absolutely hate this type of climbing. With off-width climbing, perseverance is key. Even though it feels so hard to start with, if you keep going and keep practicing, you will get better at this type of climbing. Strength is not the key to climbing off-widths. It's all about technique. I can't go up. I just cannot go up. So as the crack size gets a little bit too large to use our fists um, for jamming, we then move on from this basic fist technique into a combination of hands. So we use a hand-hand or a hand-fist stack. And here we've got a crack which kind of perfectly illustrates that size. Our fist is too, too small, can't use it. So we're gonna try and use a combination of hands within this crack now. So our first stacking technique that we're gonna look at is a hand-hand stack, so two hands back to back to each other, which is often known as a butterfly jam. Place one hand with our palm on one side and then our other hand with our palm on that side. Slide it in until the backs of our hands touch and then we use our normal hand jamming technique of tucking those thumbs in and bracing our fingers on either side of the crack until we form a really secure jam. Slightly larger in terms of crack size is the hand fist stack. We're placing our fist sideways in with the hand jam we place our hand on one side of the crack in a normal hand jamming position with our palms against the rock. Slide that fist into the side and from here we slide our hands deeper and deeper in the crack until we start to kind of feel like we can't actually move them any further at all. And it's at that point there that we then crunch the fist right down, create as much expansion as possible and likewise doing the same with our hand jam on the side of the crack as well. So when the crack gets too wide for hand stacks, then you can use a combination of either arm bars or chicken wings. In most cases, arm bars are used for upward progress in off widths and chicken wings are used for resting. So I'm gonna start by demonstrating a chicken wing. And you want your palm on one side of the crack with your fingers pointing downwards and the back of your tricep against the other side of the crack with your elbow pointing towards the sky. And you get a natural locking action like that. So now we're going to demonstrate an arm bar which is where you have the palm uh, against one side of the crack and the elbow bone against the other side of the crack braced across on each side. To move from this position uh, you have to jam your legs in and then you're able to advance the arm bar. You, to get upward progress you need to have the, the arm bar facing downwards so you can push rather than trying to pull yourself into the crack you want to push. When climbing off widths, the key to success is the use of the heel toe jam on your outside foot. Your foot forms a bridge across the off width, jamming at the back of your heel and on the end of your big toe. It can be quite painful though when you first try this technique, so persevere with it. In my experience, every time I start to struggle in an off width, it's because I've forgotten to use my outside heel toe. Focus on this part of your technique and you really can't go too far wrong. Join us for the next episode of Wild Country Crack School when we'll be looking at how to protect cracks.